Hey guys, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. I am going to do some pendants and some earrings today using Daniel Cooper's advice. I got this, as you saw, I couldn't wait to use it. It was from Timu and these are nail powders that will be looking like opals if I do this properly. So these powders will be going in here. I'm going to be using my UV resin and I have my UV light ready. I'm not going to do a ton of them because I want to make sure that I have this right before I go crazy with it. Um, so I did cover these to help you see these molds better. This one I just picked up from Michael's the other day. The rest of them I will link below. I'm not sure if I could find that one or not. My light will fit over them. So I'm going to do these two here i'm going to do these two teardrop ones i'm going to do these two round ones and i'm going to do this one right here i've got an extra light here because i'm in a different part of my room and let me just get this little bit off of my finger um so the first thing i'm going to do here's some brushes that came with them going to put some UV resin in and from what I understand we're going to layer this with different colors so we don't want to fill them up. So I'm just going to get a little bit on each one and get it cured with the light before we move on. And I think that just gives us some depth to the um to the color so i'm just going to put a little bit in each one i am going to spread it to the edge on these as far as it'll go because the next layer will go a little bit higher Now this one here is not quite as deep as the rest of them, so we might not get as many layers on there. But the good thing about the UV resin is we're going to know right now whether this is going to work or not. I don't have to wait till tomorrow. So excited. I hope this works. They looked beautiful on his video. I will link his video below because he gets the credit for this one. I did not come up with this. I see some bubbles in there. And let's see. So try to get the bubbles out before you cure it. I should have tied my hair back. It's not in a ponytail today like it normally is. Okay, I'm going to get this cured with my lights, and then I will come right back. I'm just going to go in now with some of these colors on the first layer. So I definitely want blue. Oh my gosh, these are hard to open. I'm just going to take this little brush and put it on the first layer of some of them. Doesn't take very much at all. I think I'll do these two small ones. I 
don't know if it matters if I'm getting it on the sides or not. Can you see that blue in there? I think I got it pretty good. And then I will go in, let's see, I got one, two, three, four. Careful when you open these, they do peek out a, or come out a lot. So that was the bluish. I think I'll go with this purplish color or maybe the red. And we'll do this one. about the green I don't know if I'm gonna remember where I put these or not I guess we'll find out when we take them out and see what color is dominant because we are gonna layer the colors one is the gold. I guess these two should be the same if they're earrings, so I'll do both of these gold. Okay, that's all of them. I'm just going to blow this extra out. Which doesn't seem to be going anywhere, but... It's so hard to get it off of silicone without resin in there. Okay, so the next step is to layer another layer. sure it covers this layer Keep your UV resin away from this UV light. You don't want to cure it in the bottle. All right. Now I'm going to go in with the second layer and I think I'm going to use pink over the blue. This one I think was the blue. Just kind of try to remember what colors you used so you can use a different color when you go over them. These two were blue so now I'll put pink on. I don't 
know that he did what I'm going to do next. I don't remember. But I think I'm going to mix some UV resin with some white mica powder and layer the final layer with that. Okay, that was pink. I think that was green. I'm going to go over the... I can't see. I think I'm going to use the red over the gold. So this is the red. I'm going to go over the gold with the red. And let's see, red. Maybe I'll go over the green with the red. And then the red one, maybe I'll use the purple. Now these, these two here that I'm doing right now are deeper, so I'm gonna go in with one more layer of um, powder before I go over it with the white. So let me get another clear coat of resin on these two before I go in the rest with all the, the mica powder. I should have blown those two out first. Okay. Well, I am learning. I am learning. Bubble out. One hundred twenty seconds, and then we will go ahead and actually, while I'm doing that, I'll just do it while while we're waiting. Got a little cup here, and I'm just going to guess guesstimate how much I need. I have I'll just mix more if I need more. A little bit of UV resin. I'm using using my May Spring White Pearl Mica. I don't know if you saw that. I'm not really watching the camera, guys, so I'm sorry if I'm out of frame. It's in a different spot today. going to mix a little bit of mica powder and this is pearlescent as well so that might actually help getting the colors to be vibrant I don't know I guess we're gonna find out together hopefully this is a success I like having successes I think the next one I'm going to try is the sinker color alcohol inks but I have to make my own and we'll go through that on the next video either that one or the cat's eye um, I can't wait to do both of them all right I'm gonna back both of these with the gold one um, this, these will have three layers the others will have two I'm so excited I hope this works I really do well, I didn't go crazy filling all these up because I don't know how it's going to work. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this. Get it poured in all of them. I probably need more. Yes, I definitely need more. That might have enough for a little one. That's probably too much. Shoot. I don't want to cover this hole. I'm 
little at a time. These are so, so small. I'm so used to doing large pieces that I'm not used to working with such a small amount of resin. While we're waiting on the light, I want to show you what I got from Timu today. These are ring blanks. I've got them in black and stainless steel. And what these are, you will pour the resin right inside of here on your tumbler turner. Any color you want, pearl, not pearl, glitter, whatever you want. Um, we're going to pour it in here and try these. So these came in all different sizes. I have, I think there's what eight, maybe six or eight in each color. Now what I don't like is they're all different sizes. Next time I buy them, I'll probably just buy, I mean, they're fine if you're just going to sell them, but if you know what size you are, like my husband is a size 10 and I think I'm a seven, I'm just going to buy those sizes next time but I will be doing a video on these rings coming up pretty soon to see how those turn out. So I'm continuing waiting for this. I'm doing extra cycles just to make sure it's cured before we pop them out. All right. I did the backside as well. I flipped these over and did the backside. 
just to be sure. So let's let's see what we got, guys. You ready? Hmm, not so crazy about that one. Because it's rounded, you could see the layers. So I do not really like that one. And I'm assuming this one is the same. Yep. Nope, that was a fail. Don't do these deep ones like that. Let's hope they're not all a fail. Okay, let's do these two little earrings. Now that's not too bad. I'm not sure if it's focusing or not. Okay, but you could still see where it came up underneath, so I definitely need more practice. You could see the shine, the pink and the blue. Let's see how this one turned out. Uh, exactly the same, so you can see the layers. I don't like that. So I'm thinking like one layer. We're going to have to try one layer. Let's get these earrings out. See what happened. Mm. These are better because they're flat, but you could still kind of see on the edge. You have to get the resin all the way to the edge. There's that one and this one. Same thing. I was so excited about these two. All right, last one. I like the sheen. I think maybe my problem was this white mica powder. I bet you that's what we did wrong. I think I will try one more off camera and do one layer and do all clear and I'll just show you the reveal. While I was sitting here editing my video to put out to you guys, it was really bothering me that I didn't get this right and it dawned on me to try something. So what I did was I used two different blues and then I put... I. I dusted it onto the silicone itself like you would on a coaster mold or something. So I'm wondering why this would be any different. So I put it directly on the silicone. I put the UV resin in and filled it up and then I cured it. But this one I did a little different. I did the, I still put the um, mica powder onto the mold, but then I filled it with the white. So let's see how these come out because it's really bothering me. Okay, well, this has a little bit of a pearly sheen to it. It's not the blue. You could kind of see the blue, but not I'm trying to get it in the light here. Not as much as I wanted to. So you're seeing more of the white mica powder than the blue. Not the best outcome. So let's see what happened with these. Okay, this is much better this is what i'm looking for this is a much better outcome i'm still not crazy about how transparent it is but i think i could live with that i'm trying to get it focused so that was the one blue and this was a different blue that i've had in the cabinet How do you think that did? I think that's a little bit better. And I also did one other piece that I did a layer of clear. I put the powder on and then um, I layered it with clear again. And then I put it on a chain so you could see the difference. And that's this one. 
And this one's not the greatest either. This one's uh, clear first. You can kind of see it if you're in the light. So I'm thinking these two here are the best option if you want that pearly color. It's maybe it's my pigment. It's just not strong enough. Maybe I'm not sure. It's not the best one. I mean, it was only a like a dollar fifty from Timu, so that could be the problem. I should probably get a better one and see if that works better. Anyway, guys, I hope you learned something. Um, I will see you guys on the next video. You have a blessed day. Bye bye.